What's going on everybody? Happy Friday. Uh, I was fortunate enough today to come home to the, the statue in the mail. This is Prime 1 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo Polystone statue. And I got number 199 of 1500. I ordered this bad boy through Secret Compass, got an awesome price, 670 shipped. Uh, this is by far the smallest box of all the ninjas. You know, he is the smaller brother, of course. And uh, the base weighs a lot more than this box did. That's for sure. I took out the base. It's definitely a smaller base than the other brothers. But let's go ahead and open up Michelangelo. I'm extremely excited to get him. Uh, we got an instruction manual here. And then we'll go ahead and see what he's all about. This completes my ninja set. And so I am ecstatic to finally, finally get him. I've been waiting a while for him and I actually originally pre-ordered him through Big Bad Toy Star. They wanted 800 ships, which I was willing to pay considering it was sold out everywhere. But Secret Compass had someone cancel and I contacted him and he sold it to me. And that made me very happy. I saved myself $130, you know. So let's go ahead and Let me go ahead and show you guys what I see here, so you have an understanding. So, here he is in the box. Looks like he's a complete piece. He just has his bandana, uh, like these ninja attachments and sunglasses in there. So not too many pieces to set him up. Here's the base, comes in uh, two pieces. You can basically just take this off, very strong magnet. So that's the base. Now, still a big base for your average statue. I mean, don't get me wrong, that thing's massive and heavy. It's just, compared to the other trolls like Raphael, Leonardo, they have massive bases, like ridiculously big. Now this thing would, looks like it could fit in a Vesta for sure. Where the other ones, you know, they have to be a Stuba. God, took a freaking minute to get him in the base. That thing was freaking tight. My goodness. I hate when they go in the base like that. It's like, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to get it out as easy. I really hate when the statue doesn't go in the base smoothly. You know, like both my Iron Studios, Captain America and the Iron Man, 
those were very, very tight in the base. It makes me no wonder like if I ever need to take it apart and try to take it out of the base, how much force am I gonna have to use? Could potentially damage the statue. Which companies would be more alert to, to not having it so tight, unless it really needs to be because it's an extreme pose. This is not an extreme pose. I mean, his foot's slightly up, but really wish they made this a lot looser. Boom, here he is. Michelangelo, Prime One Studios, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the final brother, set complete. I have him here in what is called a Stuva from Ikea. This is 50 inches tall. You can add two shelves to it. Uh, or, I mean, like, you know, two layers for two big statues. You get it roughly, you know, 25 inches there, 22 inches there. You know, like you split it at like 23 and a half each, so there's plenty of space. It fits perfectly with these turtles just because they have more depth. You know, they're deeper than a Vesta. So here they are. I have all four ninjas all set up now. They each have their poster. They look absolutely incredible like this. I really like this setup. I like how I have the posters of each turtle. The posters are very high quality. You know, I've really been enjoying them, and I'm very happy to finally get Mikey. So let's check out Michelangelo. First, let's look at the base. So as you can see, the base is very similar to the other bases of the brothers. You know, it's New York City streets. There's pipes coming out, glossy look. Key differences with this one versus the other ones, you know, each of them have a distinct difference. But he has a pizza box, which is awesome. You know, I am a huge fan of pizza. There's even the grease you can see, pepperonis, cheese, dough, it's half eaten slice. So there's that. And then you got this uh, fire hydrant. Uh, looks excellent, very heavy as well. Lots of gloss look, you know, you can even see, you know, like, look at that. You know, you got like, almost like that gutter look, you know, on the side of a street that's disgusting. Uh, he's the only one that really has that gutter look, you know, each of them have a different look. So I really like how they added that, you know, if you look at Leo, he's more brownish and he's a little different. You know, each of them have a little bit of difference and I like how they're not all the exact same base. So that's really cool. His base is the smallest, you know, look how much extra space I got like right there compared to the other three. I'd say that Leonardo is probably the biggest, you know, and you can see the size difference between the two. You know, Mikey is definitely smaller. You know, he's the smaller of the brothers. He's sort of like the jokester and everything. So let's just go ahead and look at Mikey and I'll give you my opinion. First, let's start off with these shoes. Weathered look, looks like tennis shoes that his feet have 
outgrown and coming out of. Lots of detail in this. Now you can even see a little gloss in his toenails. And then there's his foot. You can see the detailing in the skin. He got his shin guards. Looks like duct tape is holding that together. Then he has a hoodie wrapped around his waist with a set of nunchucks. And then he got this uh, sort of like strap right there that's holding a shell along with the longer pair of like, like longer nunchuck sticks. Got sunglasses, necklaces, beads on the hands. You know, you can definitely just see the way he dresses is a lot different than his brothers. He's holding a nunchuck right there. Uh, this one has a lot more of an expressionate face, as you know, as you can see. Got a light, nice little grin. There's his eyes, nice big blue eyes. Very noticeable. Top of the head, he has lots of little like blue and red dots. He's the only one that really has that look. Now he, he looks just like a sports attire. You know, he got his sunglasses. His bracelet and necklaces. He's a you know he's a fun sportster. Loves to joke around. Perfect likeness, as you can see next to the poster. Same costume. I really like Mikey and his you know whole attitude. You notice how funny he is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shell. You know each of them have a slightly different looking shell. But so much detail goes into these shells, it makes me almost want to get like a, you know, like a mirror in the back just so you can, you know, see the amount of detail and, you know, it's really incredible. You know, it looks just like a freaking turtle. Such glossy look, you know, like they're almost wet. He does have a tattoo right there. Not sure what exactly that is, some just sort of symbol. You know, Several of these Turtle Brothers do have tattoos. I like the color of orange used for his bandana. It looks really good. I'm going to have him displayed just like this. Now, I think that's the best angle for him. So, you know, if I'm just sitting down, I could just look just like that. So, I do wonder why he cost as much as the others, considering the others are much bigger. I would think he'd be almost like $50 cheaper. You know, smaller base. However, it does have more to it, I would say. And he's smaller, but these statues are incredibly detailed. Fantastic paint job. You know, the presence is awesome. A lot of people, when they come into this statue, like friends and coworkers of mine, they love the turtles. They think they're, you know, they're just massive compared to the other one-fourth scale. You know, they're as thick as a Hulk. They have a great presence. And, you know, it's just one statue per shelf. Which, I, you know, I really like. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of when you cram too many statues in a shelf because then things tend to get overshadowed and not looked at or appreciated. When you're spending so much money on these things, you know, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars you really want to be able to appreciate them. So, I really like how, you know, it's just one turtle per shelf. Uh, I do plan to connect them all later just because I can. So I'll, you know, show you guys a little bit later in this video of them connected together. Just, so, you know, it, it, they do form a giant diorama. And I do love dioramas. They're just very hard to display. Like my Dragon Ball Z, there's a lot of them that form to a diorama. And I, and I do my best to, you know, connect them. Just because they are one sixth and not one fourth scale dioramas. But these guys, I mean, there's pretty much, unless you have a freaking table, you're, you're not going to be able really to really form the diorama. They're too big. But separately, you know, they look awesome. Not too many flaws I see in these statues. I mean, Prime One really just knocked it out of the park. If you're on the fence thinking, should I or shouldn't I, I say go for it. You know, there's another movie coming out. They're only going to get more popular. Some people like the 90s ones, but, you know, those movies, I, I can't watch them. I didn't grow up watching them. Uh, I just don't like the idea of a guy in some costume as a turtle. That just, I much prefer this look and these turtles this is what I like so definitely jump right on it before the prices hike up to a thousand dollars a piece which I'm sure will happen in a year from now
And if you collect one, you really got to get all four. Don't be a fool and think you can only have just Raphael or just Michelangelo. You need all four. They're brothers. They need to be together. If you get one, you need all four or don't get any at all. Simple as that. But I'm going to go ahead and form the diorama, so give me a few moments. Okay, everybody, I got the turtles all set up here on my ground. Just to give you guys a little size reference of how much space they take. So it's pretty massive if you were to, you know, combine them all four. You know, I would say that's good four feet long. They have to look really cool together posed like this. Like they're just ready to battle Shredder. Though, you know, they definitely would not fit on top of a stuva. I did just have a slice of pizza to celebrate, you know, getting the turtles. Maybe if I, this was about another nine inches, I could do it, but not going to. But I just wanted to show you guys all the turtles together. This is how they're displayed. They each have a different direction they're facing, looking, and posing. So they're covering all angles for their enemies. And they look awesome together. You now you got Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo. There they are. Awesome statues. Freaking awesome. That's all my prime one right there, pretty much you can see. Transformers, turtles. I think I am gonna do one thing. I wanna get one more Transformer statue, the Optimus Prime Ultimate Edition from the new Transformer 4 movie. Put him where I got Megatron. Put Megatron where Optimus is and move Optimus where Bumblebee is, move Bumblebee to where the Predator bust is. Get a Stuva 50 inch right there and have the Predator displayed up top with the Underworld and Terminator, then sell those two down there, and then also sell both my Bruce Lee statues to a Ford Optimus. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'd prefer to have the display set up like that. So I have the old Transformer movies, the new Transformer movies, and you know, just so I can have, and then just cut out some of the movies, or sort of like, you know, it's like Bruce Lee and the other movies are all just random movie statues that I don't. Sorry, everyone, I got a phone call while I was uh, doing that. But I just went ahead and uh, put them back together. I want to give a few last thoughts. Uh, I am incredibly happy and proud owner of these statues. They're phenomenal. And if you have a chance to get them right now and you have the budget, do it. They're freaking awesome. If you want to display them together, I think this is a great way to, you know, maximize space and have them look awesome. These posters I got are just on Amazon from Poster Angels is the seller. It's 10 bucks. You buy three, you get one free. So $30 got me all four posters. And they are very high quality. Glossy, good, strong paper. And so I think it looks really good this way. I love it, in fact. Definitely brings out the display better to have a poster of each of the brothers. Roughly same scale to them as well. The poster size is 13 by 19 inches. So hope you all enjoyed this uh, video review. Uh, this completes my set. You know, if they ever make a shredder, I'll probably get shredder. Uh, for now, I'm going to skip splinter, although who knows, I may just pick him up and throw him in a best over there. You know, just because he's the rat and I really like the battle between him and shredder. It made me like the character. We'll see. I may pick up splinter. I'd love to get a shredder. You know, if I get a shredder and a splinter, I think it'd be worth it, but I really I'm waiting for them to announce Shredder before I even think of Splinter. Uh, like and comment below if you have any thoughts or questions. Uh, you know, I'll respond to it. Or if you have any advice, you know, on how to change my setup to make it even better. In your opinion, I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh, just let me know. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to be friends on Facebook, it's uh, my Facebook's just facebook.com forward slash flankster. And y'all have a wonderful day.